Okay, um, so on number 16 it says multiply the following expressions. So what I want to do is I want to distribute the 2x and the 3 to both of these terms. So first I'll distribute the 2x. So 2x times 4x is 8x squared and 2x times negative 5 is negative 10x. And then you want to distribute the 3. So I've got 3 times 4x which is 12x and 3 times negative 5 which is negative 15. At that point you want to combine like terms and then you can tell that these both have x's and so what we'll do is we'll say 8x squared plus 2x and then minus 15. And that is your answer. Okay. On 17, you're supposed to multiply uh, this binomial times this trinomial, which means you're going to distribute uh, these two things to three different things. So first distribute the 3x. So 3x times 2x squared is 6 and then x cubed. x times x squared is x cubed. So 6x cubed. 3x times negative 3x is a negative 9x squared. And 3x times 4 is a positive 12x. And then we're going to distribute a 1. But as you know, when you multiply something by 1, it does not change it. So when I distribute my 1, 1 times 2x squared is a 2x squared. And I'm actually going to um, stack the 2x squared underneath the 9x squared as they have the same power. 1 times negative 3x is negative 3x. And 1 times 4 is 4. Combine like terms. So I end up with 6x cubed minus 7x squared plus 9x plus 4. And there's your answer. Okay? On 18, when you multiply these out, you've got 2x plus 3 quantity squared. That actually means you need to multiply 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3. So we need to multiply it by itself twice. So 2x times 2x, we're going to do the same thing we did previously, is 4x squared. 2x times 3 is 6x. 3 times 2x is 6x. I could stack like that one, but it's just the same thing to just put it aside. So 3 times 2x is 6x, and 3 times 3 is 9. Combine like terms, 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. And there's my answer. Okay. 19, you are multiplying 3x squared y times 2xy plus 4x minus 3. So we are going to distribute. Um, just something to think about, though. When you multiply these two, when you multiply two terms, like x to the fifth times x to the second, you actually add the powers. Because what you're saying is 5x's times another 2x's. That's just a total of x to the seventh. You add the powers, okay? If you have x to the fifth to the second, that's five x's times another five x's, which is x to the tenth, and that's when you know that you multiply, okay? When you raise a power and then you raise it to another power. So in this case, I've got three times two, which is six. I've got x squared times x. That's uh, three x's in total, and I got y times y, which is y squared. Now I'm going to distribute 3x squared y to 4x. So I've got 3 times 4, and that is 12. I've got x squared times x, and that is x cubed. And then I've got y. And then I'm going to distribute to the negative 3. So 3x squared times a negative 3 is a negative 9. There's no variables here, so just x squared y. This is x cubed y squared, this is x cubed y, and this is x squared y. None of those are the same, which means I cannot do anything else, and I'm done. Okay. Um, oh, for my class, I added a question. I wanted them to do a problem, so here is 19.5. So I said question 19.5 is x minus 3 quantity cubed. Now to, to raise something to the third power means you're going to multiply it by itself three times. So I've got x minus 3 times x minus 3 times x minus 3. 
Now, um, when you do this, um, it's kind of a matter of preference on whether or not you want to multiply the first two together or the last two together. They're the same answer. Um, I personally prefer to do these two first, the, um, the, second, uh, the second and the third one. So then I just distribute a binomial instead of trinomial, but it really doesn't matter. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Negative 3x and then positive 9, which leaves me with x squared minus 6x plus 9. And that is that, both of those. But then I also need to multiply by another x minus 3. So now I distribute that one. x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 6x is negative 6x squared. And x times 9 is 9x. Then I need to distribute the negative 3. Negative 3 times x squared is negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times negative 6x is a positive 18x. And negative 3 times positive 9 is a negative 27. Combine like terms. And you get x cubed minus 9x squared plus 27x minus 27. And there is your answer. Okay, that's 19.5. Now on 20, 20 is long division. So here's what we're going to do. When you do long division, you have to think about um, the process of division in general. And um, it is a long process, but, and, and it has to be very precise. There's not a lot, of, there's no room for error. But at the same time, it's the same process over and over. You just got to think about what you need. So I'm just going to go ahead and start doing that. Okay, so first I'm going to put x minus 6 right here. And underneath here, and the, and the, for the radicand, I'm going to put this expression. However, I notice that this is the power of 4 and this is the power of 2. I don't have a power of 3. And so what I need to do is I need to put a 0x cubed for a placeholder and then continue on with the function. Okay? So, here's what I need to ask myself. What do I need to multiply x by to get x to the fourth? Because I need to cancel out the highest term every time. I have 1x, I need 4, so I need 3 more, so I'm going to line it up with the 3. Also, a binomial, two, these two things will not go into one term, but they'll go into two terms. Okay, so then what you do is you multiply x cubed times x and get x to the 4th, and then you multiply x cubed times negative 6 and get negative 6x cubed. But the next thing you want to do is subtract. So when you subtract, you say change that to a minus, change that to a plus. Okay, and then we combine. Those cancel out. If they don't, then something's wrong. 0x cubed plus 6x cubed is 6x cubed. Bring down the negative 33x squared. Okay, now what I need to do Sorry, I was looking for something else. Okay. Now what I need to do is I need to cancel out the the 6x cubed. I have an x, I need a 6. I have 1x, I need um, 3, so I need 2 more, which makes sense that that would be the next one. So 6x squared times x is 6x cubed, and then 6x squared times negative 6 is a negative 36x squared. Okay. Um, the next step, just like I did here, is to subtract. So I'm going to make that a negative, make that a plus, and then I'm going to combine. Those cancel out. I've got negative 33x squared plus 36x squared. That is 3x squared. Bring down the negative 9x. Okay. Now, I need a 3x squared, and I've only got an x. So I need a 3. I've got 1x, I need 2, so I need one more. Makes sense, it's right above the x. 
3x times x is 3x squared, and 3x times negative 6 is negative 18x. But, just like any other one, the next step is to subtract. So I'm going to make that negative, make that positive, and then combine like terms. Those cancel out. Negative 9x plus 18x is 9x. Bring down the minus 59. Okay. Now I need... I need 9x and I've got 1x, which means I need a 9. So I add 9 up there. 9 times x is 9x. 9 times negative 6 is a negative 54. Last step, I need to subtract. So I change that to a minus, change that to a plus. It's not always going to be minus and plus. I mean, like, it's always... No, it's not always going to be minus and plus. It's just you always have to change the signs, and this one happened to always be that way. And then I end up with negative 5. Okay. Now, the actual solution is not, um, it's not just like writing on the problem. You actually have to write down the answer. And so the answer is x cubed plus 6x squared plus 3x plus 9, which is all that up there. And then my remainder is a negative 5, so I have to say minus 5 divided by what I divided by. And that is actually your answer. Now this question, is this a factor of the first expression? And the fact that we had a remainder means no. The remainder was not equal to zero. Okay? Now we'll do it again with 21. Okay. You might notice something about this problem starting off this is a power of 4, this is a power of 1, this is a power of 3, this is a power of 5, this is a power of 2, this is a power of none. Which means they're not in order, so I need to make sure I put them in order. I'm going to go ahead and put x plus 1. Okay. Highest power first, so x to the 5th. Next highest power, 4x to the 4th. And then cubed. And then squared and then linear 1, and then no x. So there we go. Okay. Always want to cancel out that first term. So I, n I have an x, I need 5x's, so I need 4. x to the 4th. x to the 4th times x is x to the 5th. x to the 4th times 1 is x to the 4th. Next step, subtract. So I change the sign, make that a negative, make that a negative 2. Those cancel out, and 4 minus 1 is 3x to the 4th. Bring down the negative x cubed. Okay. I need a 3x to the 4th. I've just got an x, which means I need a 3. And I need um, 3 more x's. And then I need to multiply. 3x cubed times x gives me 3x to the 4th. 3x cubed times 1 gives me 3x squared. Cube, sorry. And then I need to subtract. So I make that a minus, make that a minus. Those cancel out. A negative 1 and a negative 3 is a negative 4x cubed. Bring down the negative 8x squared. Okay. I need a negative 4x cubed. I've got an x, so I need a negative 4, and I need two more x's to get x cubed. So negative 4x squared times x is a negative 4x cubed. Negative 4x squared times 1 is a negative 4x squared. I need to subtract. So I'm going to change the sign. So when you subtract, you got to change the sign. So this becomes a plus, and this becomes a plus. I, those cancel out, and I'm left with a negative 8x squared plus 4x squared. That is a negative 4x squared. Bring down the negative 5x. Okay. I um, need, let's see. I need a negative 4x squared and I've got a positive x, so I need a negative 4x. So I'm going to multiply negative 4x times x and get negative 4x squared. Negative 4x times 1 is a negative 4x. I need to subtract, so I'm going to change the signs. So I'm going to make that plus, make that plus. Those cancel out, and I'm left with a negative 1x. Bring down the negative 1. Now, 
I need a negative 1x. I've got 1x, so I go negative 1. Negative 1 times x is negative 1x. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1, but I need to subtract. So that makes that a plus, that makes that a plus. Those both cancel out, and I'm left with 0. So the question is, is it a factor? Yes, because the remainder was 0. What is my answer? My answer is x to the fourth plus 3x cubed minus 4x squared minus 4x and then minus 1. Okay? Alright. Now, on to synthetic division. It says, divide the following expressions using synthetic division. Okay. Now, when you do synthetic division, so that you don't have to do the subtraction every time, if you would just use the opposite of plus 1 and use negative 1, or whatever makes this expression equal 0, x plus 1 equals 0 when x equals a negative 1, subtract 1 from both sides, if you use that, then during synthetic division, we actually get to add instead of subtract. Across the top, I've got 2, 1, none, 3, negative 2, negative 5, and then that's my remainder box. I'm going to bring down the 3 and multiply. Negative 1 times 3 is a negative 3, and I put my answer right there. And then I add. Negative 2 plus a negative 3 is a negative 5. Again, I multiply. Negative 1 times negative 5 is a positive 5. I add vertically. Negative 5 plus 5 is 0. And my remainder is 0, which tells me that that is a factor of the quadratic. Now, the, the question is, what's your answer? Well, if you start with the power of 2 and you divide out 1, then you should end with 1. So 3x to the first power minus 5. And there you go. Okay? Now on 23, again, I want to use the opposite of negative 2. I want to use positive 2, whatever makes that equal 0. And I want to put the uh, uh, coefficients across about 4, 3, 2, 1, none, so I'm not missing any. 1 negative 2, 4, negative 3, negative 10. And I'm going to bring down the 1 and multiply. 1 times 2 is 2, add and I get 0. 2 times 0 is 0, add and I get 4. 2 times 4 is 8, add and I get 5. 2 times 5 is 10, add and I get 0. So is it a factor? Yes. The remainder equals 0. What's my answer, though? I started with a power of 4. I divided out 1, so I should end with a power of 3. So that should be x cubed. So 1x cubed, or just x cubed. Now, this is my quadratic term, x squared. And since it's 0, there just isn't one there. And this is x. So then I say plus 4x, and then that's no x, so then plus 5. And that is my answer. You don't have to have the one there. Okay, and that is 16 through 23.